today we're at the site of this abandoned Denny's here in Boulder, Colorado. So let's go ahead and take a look. And here we are. As you can see, it's totally abandoned and definitely seen a few better days. There's been talk of replacing this with housing. Not too bad of a thing, I guess. Be pretty good seeing that there's lots of easily accessible by foot businesses over there. Too bad it had to close though. You can see the facade where the sign would have been. You can see this sign that has been ripped out. Pretty ginormous one. The window is right there is cracked, so we won't be able to touch that, but we can take a glance into this window. And you're not gonna get much more than reflections here because of the sun. Got this table here. Um, let's see, what else do we got? Might be able to get a view from this edge of the window. Oh wow, you can see plans sitting there on the table. Look at that. Boulder's Denny's was built in 1976 and was opened by 1977. According to a page showing potential redevelopment plans, it received a renovation in 1990. A photo posted in 2012 on Foursquare's site actually shows a new paint job happening inside of the Denny's, and it's probable that the exterior repaint also happened at that time. Sadly, in 2016, this location closed its doors for good, and it sits vacant to this day. There do appear to be some form of plans for the property to be redeveloped by a mixed-use building, but so far, nothing has coalesced beyond site plans. Let's get a look from this side, see if we can see it from here. I don't know if we can, it's pretty reflective. You can definitely see where the plans are sitting. Picture frames right there. I can't tell what that is meant to be. It looks like just kind of a decoration kind of thing. Go ahead and go around to the side. I don't think we'll see much around the back side, but we do got this bicycle rack here that looks like they've kind of taken it apart a little bit. One thing I will say before we continue on is that I actually tried to film this a while back, but oddly enough, the doors were wide open and there were two other random people coming and going and eventually they, I guess they went to the gas station to try and find some contact info or something. Is awkward, so I was just like, nah, I'm not doing it that day. <laughs> and over here, they, it looks like they've boarded up a back door. And of course, always gotta have some kind of garbage in an abandoned place. Usually a couch or a chair, but this time a cabinet. Got the trash area, not much to see other than lots of garbage. It's like power is definitely still on. Coming around to this side, looks like they did board up all these windows, which is too bad. Maybe it's a good thing, maybe it's a bad thing, because if the windows are intact, then that means they're gonna be kept from being broken by vandalizers, aren't they? Or vandals, I should say. No me gusta vandals, but me gusta grasshoppers. <laughs> Why are they saltamontes? I think that's the word for them. Got a yellow wing just chilling down here. If you are interested in this property, of course, you can always check him out. Maybe something better can become of this property soon. I would like to thank my patrons who pay me to share stories that have happened in the past. If you would like to further support the channel and get even more content, you can join me over on Patreon for as little as $2 per month. Please click the video on the screen now to see another abandoned breakfast restaurant. See you soon. I bet you thought I was going to say next time. <laughs> see you <ya> soon. <laughs>